NANI? Hi everyone! This is the first video of my mini-series on how to draw anime hair. In this video I'm going to talk about drawing anime characters with straight hair. And we're also going to look at different examples of already established anime characters and their hairstyles. So, let's start! It's important to stay consistent when it comes to hair structure. No matter how short or long the haircut is supposed to be, the hair should follow an overarching structure that makes sense in and of itself. You can decide whether it's entirely straight or if there are slight waves in it. The latter often helps the hair appear more voluminous. There are many different hairstyles and they often depend on the specific art style that they're drawn in. But they all have one thing in common. Straight hair naturally goes down because it is pulled down by gravity. Speaking of art styles, you can choose how much you want to define and emphasize the character's strands of hair. You can reduce the lines or make it super detailed. It's up to you. And even though gravity plays a big role when it comes to straight hair, if there's motion involved, like wind for example, straight hair is going to move accordingly. It varies depending on how strong the motion is, of course. Alright, now let's look at some examples. I Enma from Hellgirl was the first character that came to my mind as I was doing my research for this video. And as you can see, she has long straight hair. It's actually called a hime cut, which means princess cut in Japanese. Asuna Yuki from Sword Art Online has a unique hairstyle. She has somewhat sideswept bangs and a braided half up half down hairstyle. Levi Ackerman from Attack on Titan is an example as well and he wears an undercut. Light Yagami from Death Note. His strands of hair are definitely more defined, so they appear more realistic and it also makes it more complicated to draw. Well, as you can see, the emphasis on strands determines the shadows and the highlights as well. And the same realistic approach goes for characters from Nana. Takumi Ichinose has long straight hair and his strands of hair are very much defined. Well, this is the case for many shoujo characters in general. It's more time consuming this way, but it also has a unique aesthetic appeal to it. So now I'm going to show you how to draw the hairstyle of these six characters.
And that's it! Thank you for watching part 1 of this mini-series and stay tuned for part 2. We will take a look at wavy and curly anime hairstyles. In the meantime, check out my other speed painting videos and how to draw videos on my channel, leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Also, follow me on Instagram for updates and more drawings. See you soon!